we are almost done with our Nokia X review. But before you get to it, I'm going to show you a few features that you should know while using the phone. I'm Warren from KL Gadget Guy. Let me walk through with you on the features of the Nokia X right here. Let's get to it. Okay, the first feature that I'm going to show you is called Nokia Glance. So what Nokia Glance does is to show you the time while your phone is on standby and it also shows you incoming notifications of emails, any missed calls or even text messages. So to configure Glance, you basically unlock the phone screen and we go to the settings page, right? So let's go to the settings page over here and we're going to go to display. So in display, we get to have the glance screen option over here is currently turned on. So it says that when you don't use your phone for a while, the glance screen allows, uh, the, the glance screen shows the time, for example, all right? So you can even set the glance screen timeout. So if you want to show, we will recommend to set it to just um, probably a minute, that would be good. Or if you want to set it as long as 15 minutes, you are good to go as well. Right, so this is how you set up a glance screen. And if you want to do some special features such as, you know, you don't want to press on the power button to turn on your phone, you can basically switch on this function, screen double tap. So if I turn on this feature and I'm going to lock the phone, so just Nokia glance. And if I double tap the screen, there we go. The phone screen is on, but it is still not unlocked. Next, we are going to take a look at the home screen, aka the app drawer. The Nokia X runs on a fourth version of Android, but it doesn't have an app drawer like what you see on Android devices, whereby you can press a button to go to a list of apps. But no, the list of apps are just all on the home screen over here. So the first tip that I'm going to tell you is that you can actually resize the tiles just like you're on Windows Phone. For example, I'm going to um, I'm going to make the tile of the phone app bigger. So let's tap on the phone tile over here. And you'll find that there's a tiny little icon over here, like an arrow icon. As you press on it, sorry, I'm going to press on it. And there we go. It, it becomes bigger. And sometimes it will also, also show some live notifications, such as if you have any missed calls, right? So you so it's pretty useful as well. And if we want to resize back to, the, to its original state, we're gonna press this button again and it goes back to the small icon, All right? So what you can see over here is that it's very similar to how Windows Phone works, but unfortunately the size can the, the size of the tiles can only be resized into either a small square or a big square. And it's quite, you know, not sufficient as in our case. We would hope that Nokia could release more sizes on the interface as well. All right, so the next thing that I want to show you is how to add widgets to the home screen. Of course, this is Android and we are able to add widgets such as this analog clock or even set direct contacts or even have our Shazam ID um, widget over here. So how do you add a widget? It's pretty simple. You just need to tap on the tiles. But one thing that I, no one thing that I noticed is that let's say if we have a back black color background over here and empty background and we as we tap on it, there are no options for us to choose to add widgets. So what you can only do is to tap on any existing widgets over here. For example, I'm going to tap on the analog clock. I'm going to hold on it. Sorry, I just went into the app and right. I hold to it and until the X icon, the X icon appears, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to press on the X. But you basically get to see two buttons down here. So this is basically creating a folder for your apps if you want to do that and but i'm going to go to widgets first so on the right we have widgets and i'm going to press on it and these are our list of widgets that you can you can place it on your home screen so i'm going to try one of them let's try um line all right let's try line messaging so i'm going to tap on it it's a bit slow over here but it should work there we go this is all right, so this is not line messaging. It looks, it's green color, but it's the messaging app on our Nokia X. So this is how you get to see, get to use the widgets over here, right? So this is the text messaging widget. You can basically see all your recent messages. So let's see if we can resize it. No, nope, you can't resize it like live tiles, but the widget is right there for you to use. All right, so we basically show you how to add a widget onto the home screen. And the next thing, we are going to create folders like this, right? So I've basically created a folder called messaging for my messaging apps. 
Now I'm gonna create a folder for my contacts over here. All right, so I bet I have three contacts over here, which is my brother, my mom, and my dad. And I'm gonna add a folder just like this. I'm gonna tap on my brother's tile over here. I'm gonna press the folder. So I'm gonna call it hmm, contacts, or maybe I call it family, right? F A M I L Y. There we go. Done. Okay, so it's a bit sluggish over here, but it's fine. So there's our empty folder right there. So I'm gonna put all this, all these tiles into this folder. So I'm gonna tap on my brother's tile. I'm gonna move it into the folder just like this. And there we go. My brother's tile is in the family folder. And there goes my mom. And here goes my dad. So once we are done, we're going to press the back button. When we open the folder, voila, there's our three contacts in one folder. So this is a pretty useful way to get all your apps or tiles organized over here. And it's very space saving, though it's not the best configuration, but it's certainly useful enough for everyday usage. And the final thing that I want to show you on the home screen is search function, which is so important because if you're going to have a lot of apps in the Nokia X, you're going to find them missing over here. So how do we search for apps is we pull up, we slide up to the top and you will see a search bar over here. Basically, usually what you will see it, you will just only see until the top icon, until you pull down again and you get to see the search bar on top. So we can search for probably, you know, you can just straight away search for stuff online or you can search for uh, search for locations using here maps. But I'm gonna search for an app, probably let's try WhatsApp, W-H-A-T, S-A-P-P. -P. There we go, that's the WhatsApp application and you can just access it by pressing on it. All right, so I didn't, I didn't get my WhatsApp set up over here. All right, so this is basically how the home screen works and we are gonna, to the, we are going to do the next feature. All right, so we have briefed you about Fastlane, but in case you don't want some other notifications to appear on the Fastlane screen over here, you can basically tap on, on a notification and you see the two buttons again, and we're gonna press the settings button right here. So once we get to the settings, we basically see a few options over here, like manage the notifications. So we can actually specify which notifications that we want to be shown, we want it to be shown on the Fastlane. So if we go back again, we also get to manage the histories on apps, like what you have performed on apps, we can also manage history. So if you don't want those history to be on fast, then you can just turn them off. And we also have one very um, unique feature over here, which is social network shortcut. So you can choose, you can access your favorite social network by going into fast name. By default, it's Facebook, but you get to choose you know, you get to um, get to have Fastlane always ask you, or you can just select a few apps, a few social apps that you would like to access. So once I've chosen one of them, let's say I'm choosing Instagram over here, and if we go, and we are going back to the Fastlane screen, so this is the button that you should press on to get to your favorite social network app. And if I press on it, it should bring me to Instagram. There we go. Instagram loads, it's not too slow or too fast, you know, on the Nokia X. The Nokia X is quite a capable phone in terms of performance, just that, you know, the limited amount of RAM. Anyways, so this is how you can manage notifications on Fastlane. The next thing that I'm gonna walk through with you is the Nokia Store. As you know, the Nokia X doesn't have any Google services inside because it runs on a fourth version of Android, which means there is no Google Play Store on the Nokia X. So we can only rely on the Nokia Store to look for apps, but what if we don't find the app that we want? No worries, here's a tip that you can actually try on. So let's say we are, we are you're going to search an app called um, Instagram, for, for example. So I'm going to go to Instagram and as you can see, there's no official Instagram client over here. So what Nokia has actually done is it actually tells you to go to another third party app store like One Mobile Market. So if you happen to find some kind of marketplace app over here, do tap into it and install the app from the Nokia store. 
For instance, it's already installed on our Nokia X over here, and I'm going to open it. So, One Mobile Market looks pretty much like the old Google Play Store that we've seen before. And if we start to search for apps like Instagram again, there you go, the search is pretty fast. And there you go, here's the official Instagram client app over here. You just inst you can just install it and it will be on the phone. And for information, One Mobile Market is very useful as well as it, as it holds a lot of apps that is not found on the Nokia store as well. Another another app that I would say, um, for example, is Tower of Saviors. It's a game that is very popular right now with gems, killing monsters and stuff. And if we press search on Tower of Saviors, it's searching. And there you go. Even the Chinese version, the Mandarin version is right here as well. If you want to download the game, basically just tap on this download button and it will download the game onto your phone. So that is how you actually search for apps that is not available on the Nokia store. You basically get linked to a third party app store to search for the app that you want. All right, the last feature that I'm going to tell you today on the Nokia X is mixed radio and hear maps. So let's go into mixed radio and take a look at the features. So it takes a while to load, but it runs fine. And there you go. Here are the list of mixers that I've created recently. And what you can actually do with Mix Radio is you can actually search for an artist, a genre, or a category of music and play it randomly on your phone. This is how you do it. So we go to mixers and we get to see featured artists on Nokia Mix Radio. And we go and if we go to categories, we can even see some categories being done by Nokia over here, which is pretty pretty good. And we can even see genres over here to see what kind of gen music genre that we would like to listen. So I'm going back into categories and I'm going to choose Asia Mixer since we're in Asia. So we can probably just choose, um, probably is there K-pop? No, I don't see any K-pop over here, but we can try some Japan Pop, right? So Japan Pop, everybody knows about it, which is, which is actually good. And it's loading and loading. Let's hope it works. Yup. And the music starts playing. Right, so basically what you do get to do on Nokia Mix Radio is to select the track that you want to listen. So if for instance if you like this track, you can actually download the track onto your phone as an offline mix. So if you want to do that, just press on this download button over here, just like this. And you can just say you can just do it, make mix available offline or just buy the song if you want. Alright, so if you want to skip to the next song, it's pretty simple. I'm going back and press on the next song and it will start playing the next J Japanese pop mix. So one limitation on the mix radio as I've mentioned is that you are not able to search for the specific song that you want, but for the genre, category or some featured artists on mix radio. Now we go to hear maps. So Hear Maps by Nokia is probably the best mapping service that you can find on Android phones or even Windows phone devices at the moment. So Hear Maps is pretty similar to what you can see on Windows phone over here. And if you if you want to pinpoint your location, just press on this green icon over here and it will show you where you are actually on. So it's not accurate because I'm using my Wi-Fi and I did not switch on my GPS, right? So if I want to go to, if I want to go to a place, you know, I want to do a navigation, I basically press on this button over here and I can press drive, right? Drive and I can basically set my destination. Let's say I'm going to the K, I'm going to KLCC, KLCD Center, the Twin Towers. And here you go, it's pretty fast. The search results are very fast. It's based on online. And when I press on it, Surya KLCC Mall and let's press again Surya KLCC Mall and it says that it's 60 miles away from my current destination I'm going to press go right getting route so you basically have a few options highways and you can probably you can just choose any one of them you know route settings either you want to to avoid toll roads or you want to avoid tunnels or etc right so that's how the maps works on drive and you can just press start navigation 
to start routing to your destination. So you need, so basically you need a voice to hear guidance. If you want, you can just download them for free from Nokia. And we believe there are a few options over here, right? And it's in, it's in Boston, Malaysia as well. You get English, of course, and probably Mandarin is at the bottom. Yep, you get to have um, Cantonese, you get to have simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese, which is pretty good. So just download the language that you want the, the, the app to start talking on the navigation and you are pretty much good to go with the Nokia Drive, Nokia Hear Maps. That's it for today people and thank you very much for watching the walkthrough of the Nokia X features. Stay tuned for the full review coming right up in the next few days and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch any future videos coming right up and follow us and like us on Twitter and Facebook at KL Gadget Guy. I'm Warren and I'll see you next time in our next video. That's it for now.